Welcome to Mayho, the solution for storing modern fishing tackle. In the dim dark ages we all had trade tackle boxes, hooks, swivels, sinkers, a couple of flasher rigs, a knife, all covered in rust. Those days are gone. Mayho is the solution for storing new tackle. It's all sourced from Japan and overseas from Asia now. All need small compartmentization and separate storage for spare parts, jigging components, game fishing gear, leaders, there's a whole lot more gear out there now. Mayho makes over 300 solutions to store contemporary tackle, right from the smallest one to the largest ones. They're all made in Japan, all made without compromise. All open systems, which means they're scalable inside. You can take out dividers, put different boxes in to suit different categories of tackle that you have. This is the future of tackle storage. Let's get started. Let's look at the Mayho Water Guard series. No one loves water on their tackle box, rusty hooks, water slopping around, no good. The Water Guard series fixes that. We've got the, starting with the little 400 Water Guard, nice positive cam action latches as all the Mayho boxes have, waterproof lid, and a lid that you can't lose if you're in a kayak or on the side of a boat. Great little box, put a phone in there, good little solution. 400, a little bit bigger. Four cam latches, again it's all open inside so you can scale it how you like. And a lid retainer as well so you won't be losing the lid on that one. Water guard series, the largest ones. This 18, good little box. People are using for soft baits, putting your phone in or electronics. Just a nice little box that's easy out of the way. 36 can be used for fishing reels and larger things. Line as you can see. And again it's scalable inside with the movable dividers. Again, polycarbonate top, good and strong, nice box. The 72 and the 108 are the larger series, which are polycarbonate lids, cam action latches for the waterproof. They're not traditional as in a tray tackle box with the little dividers for hook swivel sinkers because a lot of us now are fishing with and chikus and slow jigs, small jigs, so we need separate storage and clean storage so we're not cross-contaminating. Lift out tray for stuff you use every day and internally you've got a couple of boxes in there which are available separately so you can keep your gear separate and not have a pile of rust. The 108 box is probably the most popular. It's got a single cam latch on it. It's got a dirty container on the top so you can put your gear in there that you've used so you're not going to cross contaminate. Polycarbonate lid. All the gear you use quite often in here and internally Plenty of room for reels, smaller boxes. You can put a great variety of boxes in there. Keep all your gear clean. That's a nice box. And that's the Water Guard series. One box from Mayho. It's just that as well. One storage solution. You can fit all your gear on this one. Great little box. It comes in two colours. The black one, blue and white. Polycarbonate lid. A real nice solid handle on it. All the Mayho bigger boxes have non-slip rubber pads on, so if you're in a boat on the wheelhouse, it's not going to slide around. And it's also a positive, you can't pick it up without the handle up, so you're not going to have any spills. In the top, <coughs> all the gear you use all the time. These boxes come either empty or full with different Mayho solutions for different tackles, so you can customise it to suit yourself. That one's a little soft bait tub. Underneath, it's just open, so you can scale it with all the different internal Mayho boxes. One, you can have one for your jigs, one for your line, one for your swivels and bits and pieces. One's for small stick baits. You've got room in here for leader. It's a great little box. It's got a really solid cam latch on it and all the Mayho gear. They've all got the stainless steel hinges as well. Built to last. Beautiful ABS plastic. It's a cracking good box, that one. One box from Mayho. Hard Masters, these are the tough guys from Mayho, made of bumper grade impact resistant ABS plastic. They've got a patented V-lock system, so if the lid's down, it's locked. They also have traditional catches as well for extra security. All the catches and hinges are stainless steel like all other Mayho range boxes. Good solid handle, rubber grip. Internally, just put in there what you like. Nice round corners so you're not going to be denting things as you're walking past and as with all the other big boxes the rubber skid resistance on them. They come in two sizes, there's the 500 and the 620. 
And if you're hard on tackle boxes and knock them around, these are the ones. They'll go the distance. Bucket Mouth 9000 by Mayho. This is one strong box. It's got an internal weight capacity of 167 kilos. And on top you can put half a tonne on these. Super strong. Lid comes off completely. Or you can have it hinged one way. Internally, tons of room for whatever you want to fit in there. Good, strong, positive handle. Room on the end for tools, pliers, crimping pliers, and also the available uh, rod holders. So you can use this as a seat as well while fishing. Non-slip rubber base on the bottom as well. That's the biggest of the range. That's the Bucket Mouth 9000. This is the Ajakan Cyclone, it's a little live bait tank. Keep about 8 or 10 max in here quite happy, as long as you keep the water clean, that's really the key to live bait tanks. Often it's not aeration, it's dirty water, so the Mayho box will help you with that. Totally sealed lid so you can catch fish, maybe at a wharf, transport them in your car to your boat. Sometimes where you're fishing it's hard to catch live bait, so help with a bit of pre-planning. Totally sealed lid to stop spills. Once you get inside there, it's got another ABS plastic lid with drain holes so you can actually tip the water out to replace it without the max getting out. Once you're inside, you see why it's called the cyclone. There's a ramp in here which makes the water circulate in this direction so the max will sit there quite happily pointing in one direction. You can put two pumps on it which are sold separately. It does come with the stones which disperse the air, don't get too many bubbles so you don't get foaming in the tank and also Below the ramp will help some of the sediment settle there, so dirty water, not so much of a problem, but again, change the water, you'll keep your little guys happy, and whatever wants to eat them, will get them nice and fit. Good size for Max, any bigger they get quite heavy, so that's a really good little solution, on boat and kayak even. <coughs> this is the Versa Wave series, the white boxes. Again, they're all open design, pretty much. Not so many partitions that way. Um, I don't know what these are made of, but man, they are strong. You can put jigs in them, they're not going to punch through them. Sinkers in them. Again, if you're a box demolisher, these are the ones. You can kick them down the street. Great box, and well priced as well. <coughs> okay. You caught me out, we have got a traditional tackle box, but it's a good one, and I'll show you why. ABS plastic lid, and again it's got the dirty storage on the top so you're not cross-contaminating. Nice solid handle, stainless steel hinges. Again, just nice grade plastic like all the Mayho products. Good solid latch, again with stainless steel. Internally, it's not going to rattle around when it's open, it's all good and solid, nice and thick. All the partitions come out so you can put in modern tackle if you want to and smaller internal boxes so you're not cross-contaminating things. And just a nice little seal around there as well. That's the VS7030, Arjakan Cyclone and the Versa Wave Indestructibles. Little boxes. We've all had them, we've all broken them, we've all tried to stuff things into them. This is where the Mayho system is great. As with the big boxes, it's an open system. They're all scalable in size, and you can pull the dividers out, fit in what you like, so you don't have to bother about trying to get something to fit the hole. There's a hole there to fit it. This is a great little box. This is my, probably my favourite, which is the VS820 NDM. They've got long names, but that's what it is. I've got about six of these in my tackle box. They all fit nicely. I've got one with all my different categories of tackle in. And let's face it, we're all fishing with new gear exciting gear and chikus and slow jigs you can't just stick them in a little partition drawer you need to have it all neat and tidy with your spare rigs all nice and dry separate and that's where the Mayho system comes in really well there's different sizes of the boxes to fit in the different boxes we've shown you before the waterproofs etc the bigger ones different widths again all open you can do what you like Got just some basic series as well, which are just fully open, nothing inside them. Great. My mum uses these for sandwiches at golf. They're a little box, all made in Japan. They're all just nice feel, good quality plastic. They're not just going to shatter if you look at them, so they're a good box. We've got some odd stuff, long cases, 500 or 620, all open. I'd suggest you put long things in those. 
EVA box is quite popular overseas, not so much in New Zealand yet, but these are a great little box for travel. You can put a fishing reel in there and a bit of tackle with a little handle on the top of them. Just box, quite useful. I used one on a trip recently. It's great for cooler gear that I needed. Also got a few of the bigger ones. Again, just open so you can mix and match them. They'll fit in the bucket now, so they'll fit in the waterproof series in the one boxes. So really it's about you taking control of the different tackle that you have and getting boxes to suit the different gear, keeping it tidy, keeping it clean, keeping it organised. We've got all the cool gear now, so look after it, get tidy. Thanks for watching, that's the Mayho range. See you later.